not here to harm you. If you're this man, I swear to God, come out. I will beat you now. now. I will come out your teeth just now. Before I go inside that cell. God punish you, finish up. Hold this man in the first place. Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review. The only reviewer that you want to send money to. So if you can just close down this app for a second, please. Open your banking app and send me money. That would be much appreciated. No one will send me money. And yeah, sir, subscribe, um, turn on post notification, like this video, and yeah, roll in You know you guys are cheap, eh? You know you guys are the freeloaders. Free all of you. Freeloaders. The Men's Club is a show that will never leave our minds in a long time. It's like when you argue with a friend and they use a big word to buttress their point and you go like, whoa, 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 chill, chill. We are just talking, you do not have to insult me. What is buttress? This is why no one talks to you. What do we buttress now? What do we what are all these things? As usual, this is the point where I will talk about each character and how they shaped the show. You are an idiot. <laughs> I'll tell you why you are one soon, but I have to thank you for one thing. You told us the name of Amino's assistant, Mary. Oh, Mary, it's been a while we spoke. I thought from my last video that you would send me a DM. I was wrong. You were shook. That was poetry. I did not plan it, but <laughs> yeah, that was poetry. Nobody should tell me wrong. Now you, Patrick, you put my babe on a chokehold. My babe. What the hell is wrong with this show, eh? The last time she was insulted by that, that big head. In this episode, you tried strangling her. What was happening here now? You know what? I'm starting a petition. Please, guys. Go and sign it. Let's cut out this scene and every scene with Jasmine inside because they are insulting this babe too much. You know what? Forget about it. We are suing. Send me money so I will pay my lawyers. It is not fraud. Tayo, who is this chick? What's up now? What's happening with all these the men's club guys and fine assistant? I like the way she speaks. Speak to me, baby. For Tyre, he got an email from a company that wants him to develop three estates. Then he got a call from Chief Bolaji. If you don't know who he is, he's Tiara's dad, the same man that was in this iconic scene. Just, please, just let me Get explain. out! Explain what? Explain what? Explain. Let's hear what his explanation. Explain. Explain you. Explain. Wow. Tayo then goes to meet Tiara's dad and the conversation takes a 180. At first, it looks like the father wanted to give him his blessings. Then something weird happened. Tiara's dad then asks Tayo to force his daughter to start working and stop living life like an Instagram model. I don't want my daughter to be at the mercy of any man. It's so funny because everything he says here sounds like what he should handle since he's her father. Then when Tayo was speculating and trying to grab his thoughts, <laughs> he bribed him. <laughs> Wonderful. Father of the year. Louis is broke but still buying things. I don't know how that works. He showed Aminu his new lounge and flexed on how he could afford it. But you don't know this guy right here. This guy is an ignoramus orangutani. <laughs> Don't ask me where I found the name from. I'm sure you can afford it. Whatever you need, you know, you can just tell me and I'll uh, I'm good. come through. I'm good. You don't have to play all match with me, but we'll go way back. Yo, he said he can handle it. Let him. Stop bragging about your wealth, I beg. Stop it. Stop it. We know you have money. Stop oppressing boys in Lagos. Stop showing girls the good life. Louis then gives Aminu a marvelous advice to drop his pride and reach out to Timini, saying maybe she was framed. And Aminu, being the ignorant pipe as he is, kept on denying every observation. Hmm. This is how you didn't do DNA test for the kid because you no, thought no, it was no, a garbage. Don't go there again. Don't go there again. I showed you my baby picture and you said he looks exactly like me. He even looks like my father. So what are we talking about? Then Louis told Aminu that his ex-wife is pregnant for him. And as Amino was about to give him some solid advice since he already knows a thing or two about this stage, the rest of the team then came. I'm talking about Uno, Tres, Castro, Uno's. Larry started off this episode in the best possible way, reminding everyone that he is not the sharpest tool in the toolbox. Is that the same? Because see, sometimes I just keep talking and Whatever makes sense, you guys will take it as it is. He got angry that Lola's mother did not tell him that she was Lola's mother and he was pissed. But she was also confused with the energy he brought and she asked him a question. A solid question. Do you know Nelson? Do you know Shell? Do you know Elvis? 
You know Mackenzie will come every club. <laughs> but the reason why he came here was to end everything. And I feel Larry is misunderstood. He is actually smart. Smarter than you think. I know I call him out, but I can see myself in him once in a while. And I know when he puts his foot down, he will stick by it. Shut the door after him. Delete this guy, please. Delete this guy from the show. Please, delete this guy from the show. Then, after having boom boom pow boom boom, they do this flashback thing and this only means that she might be falling in love with Lan Ray. Uh oh, that's bad because this is episode 2 and this show might have 13 or 10 episodes. It would end well. Uh oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh. She then went to talk to her daughter and gave her some advice about how she getting engaged to a man that was previously married is bad. And as Lola was talking about why she loves Louis, her mom was like, shut up, shut up, shut up, tell me about Larry, please. <laughs> that was a joke, but that would have been a better scene to be honest. So why did I not write this show? I would do things differently. This guy will be gone, this guy gone. You know what? Everyone except Jasmine should be deleted. Then add a secret character named Purins. He will be very handsome and every girl that sees him just dies because she will instantly fall in love with him. And the show will just be about Jasmine and Prince, sorry, and Purins and how they conquer love. Love, that is all the, the show, the show will be awesome. You people would love it, it's a wonderful, I'm starting it soon. I mean, I need money to start it. <laughs> Larry then visits Mrs. Lawson and she said a lot about business that I did not listen to. But what stood out to me was when she said she would ride him and then she kissed him. I already sold my bicycle I've given you to ride it faster. That joke did not make sense. Mrs. Lawson then came and started acting insecure because she knows someone helped him get a contract. And she was so concerned about him that she said this. I'm not trying to dictate who you sleep with. These women can be crazy for young blood. Like you? Then his mom came and she thought it was one of his clients and it ended here. Yeah. He now has three mommies in his life. Who will you pick at the end? Eh? Eh? This looks like something we already know. Eh? <laughs> three mommies. After watching this episode, my expectation for the next is Larry is not dumb. I'm saying this thing now and I'll say it loud and clear. Larry is not dumb. He actually knows what he's doing. Look at it. Two women in power that helps him get contracts. Come on, I know this trick. How do you think I have a YouTube channel, eh? You guys tell me your expectations down in the comment section. And also, why wouldn't she ride on my bicycle, man? My bicycle's good, man. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys all making it to the end of the video. If you did, you guys showed me love in my previous video. Means a lot. All right, my question of the day is: What's the name of your dream car if you have one? I actually don't have, but I would want like an Acura Jeep. Do you understand? I'm not a car person. I'm not a car. Person. I'm not a person of anything. I just realized something. I won't tell you what I just realized. Don't ask me. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Show a friend. Follow me. Post notification. Post notification. So you'll be notified when I post. I'm not speaking English again. I don't care, man. Bye.